Okay, today I'm gonna to talk you through how to reevaluate your 10K target time and how to train for it. And if 40 minutes is your target time or is your dream time, you've come to the right place because that's exactly the time and the training sessions that we're gonna talk about today from in the initial time trial to gauge what we're actually capable of and then three individual interval sessions and three crucial long runs that you need to put together in order to run your fastest 10K. Now I use this exact strategy to go from running 20 minutes for 5K to thinking it's only a matter of training before I can hold four minutes per kilometer for 10K and that's what I did. And then it's only a matter of training before I can do this for an entire marathon, which I did two hours 48. And then it's only a matter of training before I can hold this for 100K. So four minutes per kilometer for 100K is six hours 40. And I ran six hours 41. And that enabled me to run for Great Britain. So you can put exactly the same strategy in place, a proven strategy, in order to run your dream time for 10K. Now, first of all, we need a benchmark so that we can say in reality, how fast am I right now? How good is my speed and how good is my insurance? So what I want you to do is go out there and run three kilometers as fast as you possibly can. And that will look like you warming up as if you're about to race, so you're walking, then you're jogging, then you're accelerating, you're doing your diamond and I'm stretching, and then you're going for it for 3K. And let's say that your time is 12 minutes, so four minutes per kilometer. It's only a matter of training before we can do that 3K time for an entire 10K, and then you can dip under sub 40 for the 10K. Now, before we get into the training sessions, motivation versus discipline. Initially, that motivation is gonna get started. We want to run 10K in a super fast time. We want to do it, and that's the motivation. The discipline over the weeks, months, and training program is what is going to take us towards that 10K time. You can be brilliant for one training session or for a week. It takes dedication and consistency to be good for an entire training program, which is going to make you look like an entirely different athlete in 13 weeks time. And that's what I need you to commit to. Now here are the interval sessions. And if you're going to run a fast 10K and much faster than you currently can, then interval training is gonna be your best friend. What we're trying to do with interval training is tap into our raw speed and speed endurance and build time at the pace we want to run in the 10K and faster than that. We want to become super efficient at moving over the ground fast so that we can make that 10K time feel as comfortable as possible and in control as possible for the first seven or 8K so that we can unleash in the last two, 3K and dip on the 40 minutes. Interval session one, eight times three minutes with 60 seconds rest in between. And we're working at faster than 10K pace. So if that came out, that initial time trial came out at four minutes per kilometer at 12 minutes, then we want to be working slightly faster than that. If we can work at five to 10% faster, we're going to teach ourselves to be able to push, move forward over the ground, quicker than we currently can for 10K pace and build volume, build time running faster than 10K pace. That's gonna make the race feel much easier. What I want you to focus on is pushing throughout those three minute reps, but also pacing the entire session. Eight times three minutes, it's going to seem like there's a lot of reps and it's quite a long rep as well to be getting into, but it's really gonna push forward your speed and speed endurance. And then in the rest, I want you to take it as serious as the rep. And I want you to focus on, let's control the breathing and let's bring the heart rate from high during the rep to low, ready to go again. And that's gonna help you pace the session. If you're used to a longer rest, initially it's gonna feel like it just goes very, very quickly. But over time, it will feel like it's a long time and that you can fully recover and go again. Very, very similar to if you go off in the 10K and at 4K you feel like you can't get to, to the end, all of a sudden you can slow down a little bit, 10, 20%, and then after 500 meters, go again and you're able to recover much faster. It's a brilliant skill to have in distance running. Interval session two, six times four minutes, again with 60 seconds rest in between. Now slightly longer rep length, but less reps. 
still dealing with 24 minutes of total volume. And what I want you to work on is running at your 10K pace, your 10K goal pace. Get comfortable for those four minutes. 10% of the 10K, get comfortable at running those at 40 minutes for 10K pace. So work on six times four minutes. Okay, let's try to do six times a kilometer and see what we come out at. And you can adjust those paces and those times for your 10K time. And again, during the rest, we're focused on bringing the heart rate from high to low by controlling the breathing. Again, brilliant skill to have. Interval session three, 12 times two minutes with 60 seconds rest. So we're up in the number of reps, but we're reducing the rep length. I'm still giving ourselves 60 seconds rest in between. So what's gonna happen is we're going to be able to move over the ground faster. So we should be aiming at between our 3K pace and 5K pace, so much quicker intervals. We're still dealing with 24 minutes total volume, but we're going to be covering a lot more ground because instead of four minute intervals, they're two minute intervals. What again that's gonna help us do is make race day feel super comfortable for the first 60 to 70% of the race. You can do 24 minutes at your three to 5K pace, that's gonna put us in good stead, ready for our race. Now let's talk about long runs. Now long runs, we're focused on building endurance and stamina, and that's gonna help us build our aerobic capacity along with the recovery runs and easy runs. And that aerobic capacity is literally building the engine so that then we fire that engine up to do intervals or run fast in a race, we've got more to tap into. So give it the attention it deserves and respect the paces and effort levels that you've got to run for each individual long run. Long run number one. Long slow distance, 20 kilometers. So we're gonna do double the distance of the race that we're attacking, but we're gonna be out there and the effort level is gonna be conversational. So if you're out there with a buddy, you can comfortably hold a conversation or at least get out long paragraphs. So we're out there, we're building our aerobic capacity, we're building our efficiency at moving over the ground, and it's giving us strength to tap into that endurance once we get into the latter stages of the 10K race. Extremely important. Long run number two, progressive long run, and we're gonna work with 15 kilometers. We're gonna start relatively easy and finish towards race pace. What that might look like if we're aiming for a 40 minute 10K, is the first 5K at five minutes per kilometer, so 25% slower than we're gonna attack the race in. And then the second 5K is at 430 per kilometer, which is relatively easy, but also closely related to the pace that we want to run on race day. And that last 5K, ideally to odds, four minutes per kilometer, but if at the moment that has to be 415, 420, and then we're working over the weeks towards four minute, brilliant. What it gives us is the ability to finish fast and really dig in when it gets tough in the final stages of a 10K. What it also gives us is a long period of time, quite a lot of distance, 50% more than the race that we're trying to attack at or there or thereabouts close to race pace. Long run number three, 16K long run, specific long run with a segment in the middle of 8K at race pace plus 10%. So four minutes plus 10% is four minutes 24. And we're gonna hit that for the middle 8K. So this is gonna look like 4K relatively easy. So above five minutes per kilometer, last 4K relatively easy, same pace. Then that middle segment dig in and hold 10% slower than the race pace that we're trying to aim at. And if that's 424, brilliant. If you can manage to go faster than that, the indication probably is that you are capable of much more than 40 minutes on your race day. So it's a great opportunity during the schedule to check ourselves, to check our fitness. In the same way that a lot of people check their fitness and say, I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I'm ready to run a sub three hour marathon or a sub 40 minute 10K. We should also be checking ourselves to think, actually I'm capable of way faster or at least a little bit faster than my current target pace that I have in my head. So there you have it, a structured way to train for a faster 10K, by far a faster 10K. But remember, it starts from the time trial. Where are we at right now? And what are we actually capable of? 
And then it's the consistency and the discipline that is gonna take you over the weeks and months of the training schedule in order to get you there. If you got anything from that, and if you get anything from these videos, please subscribe and drop me a comment to say, what is your fastest 10K at the moment? And what is your goal time?